Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and this congrats card features the brand new congrats all around stamp set, as well as the coordinating congrats script die. This is a fantastic greeting stamp set. I love greeting stamp sets that you can mix and match to say exactly what you wanna say. Plus, I love that the little chick is featured in the thought bubble or the little signage, I guess you wanna say, in the Congrats All Around stamp set, and it coordinates so well with some past stamp sets, plus the new Party Animals stamp set, also newly released in March 2017. I will be using a couple of the chicks from the Party Animals with the elements from Congrats All Around for this congratulations card. I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock here in my Misty. It's four inches by five and a quarter inches, so it's gonna slightly be smaller than an A2 size. And I'm going to ink up the little signage here with the chick hanging over it and stamp that a couple times with a black ink for Copic coloring. And then I am going to add a greeting to the signage. There are lots of different greetings from the congrats all around that are gonna work in this little box or rectangle. And so I decided to choose the you did it and I'm gonna be able to color in those letters, but you can definitely customize it with anything you want to. This, this card I'm gonna actually give to my daughter a little bit later this week. And I think she will love it. She loves these little chick animals. She thinks they're really fun. Next, I did create a mask for that rectangle and chick. It did cut out really easily. I just stamped it on some masking paper. You could use a post-it note if you wanted to. Whatever you need, but create a mask and then I'm coloring the background with Distress Inks. I'm using Squeezed Lemonade and Dried Marigold Distress Inks applied with an ink blending tool. The Dried Marigold is basically just around the edges. The Squeezed Lemonade is kind of all over. A little bit lighter near the center or underneath the, where that area is. Then I spritzed it with water from a Distress Sprayer and blotted it dry. Before I remove the mask, I am taking an older Mama Elephant stamp set, the Sentimental Borders, and I'm taking the border that has all kinds of congratulations words because it works so well with the Congrats All Around stamp set. I love that, but I want a really subtle, distressed text background. I love to do mine at an angle because I feel like there's a little bit more room for error and you don't see it as much as going straight on. So I use the dried marigold distress ink and then ink that up. I still missed a little area there, like a little strip. So I just grabbed a piece, piece of post-it tape, masked it off and then added a little bit more text. It's not perfect, but again, it's all in the background. You're not gonna see a ton of it. I went ahead and took my paper towel again and blotted it, um, picking up some of any of that wet ink and kind of just buffed it all out, blended it, and it's a very subtle text background. Then I can remove my mask. And I always love that because I feel like it's like magic. I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring in my chick. Now, the first two colors I used, I did not list along the bottom of the screen because I didn't like them. They were too similar to the background colors, not bright and bold enough. So I went with my standard colors for coloring chicks, which I should have gone with in the first place. Y11, 8, and 18, and that's much better, much brighter. I think it really helps the chick stand out. And then a little YR04 for his beak. A couple of shades of blue for his party hat. The letters I'm gonna keep with the theme of the yellow and orange of the card. And so they're kind of two-tone. They go from yellow to orange with the Y08 and YR04. Really simple coloring here. Now it still looks a little flat, I think, at this point. So in order to make this look like it's kind of popping up from the background like everything else, I'll color in the star on his hat with some green. I'm gonna first take some BG10 and using the chisel tip, just kind of pull it in from each side to give a little bit of color to that background on the rectangle. Then I'm gonna take warm gray five and one 
and just go along the bottom and right sides of the signage to make it have a little bit of that shadowed look to make it appear to be popping off the background. I'm also gonna do a little bit around the chick. That is also gonna make him appear to be popping off of the background a little bit more as well. Next, I've stamped two of the chick images from Party Animals on some smooth white cardstock, and I'm gonna color those in with Copic markers as well. Again, party hat, same two colors of blue, the greens for the star on his party hat. That provides a nice contrast, I think, to all the yellow and orange on this card without being overwhelming. I really love the look of blues with yellow and orange. I'll color in my chicks with a base color of Y11, and then feather in the Y08 and Y18. Blend that all out really, really good. YR04 for the beaks and R20 for the cheeks. Super cute. I just love these little chicks. I think they're so much fun. Once I have these colored, I'm gonna take the coordinating party animals dies and die cut each of these cute little guys. And they are just gonna kind of help frame up and reinforce the little congratulations theme and kind of sit on top of the die cut congrats that I'm gonna create with the congrats script die. So I've got my background, I've got my two little chick embellishments, and then I die cut the congrats script, which I've already done in another video this March um, for a car, an engagement card. So I had this scrap left. It's white card stock sandwiched with stick it and fun foam. And I just kept the scrap. I always keep it so that I can get as much from a scrap as possible. And I die cut another dimensional greeting. I really love dimensional greeting, scripty greetings. I think they add a lot to a card without a ton of bulk. And they're so easy when you use fun foam backed with stick it because it instantly makes it a sticker. I'll link to that other video at the end of this one. So if you wanna know exactly how I did the fun foam and the stick it, it will be in that video. I'm gonna poke out all those little inside pieces. I did color it in with the dried Marigold Distress ink just to give it a bit of a background color. I'm gonna position and adhere it right there below the little signage on my background. But I'm gonna be tracing around this whole thing with some Nouveau Crystal Drops and I'm gonna be using the Orange Marmalade Translucent. So I'll be, um, adding that over the top of the scripty greeting in a little bit. You could also take glossy accents and trace over it to give it that glossy look. Um, different options there. You could even, if you wanna go a little more subtle, the Wink of Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pen would be a great option. Just something to help make it really pop. I'm adding those chicks to either side now. I want them to kind of look like they're standing and teetering on top of that congrats scripty die cut greeting. This is the Nouveau Crystal Drops that I'm gonna to use to trace around the die cut word. This is a translucent one. If you want it to be a little bit more bolder, I would go with a color that's more of a gloss instead of the translucent. Um, I wanted this to definitely not overshadow everything else, but just kind of blend in with the rest of the design of the card. This orange marmalade is one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. I've used it quite a bit. Now, once I have the word completely traced, it's gonna take a little bit to dry. I decided I needed a scattering of confetti or enamel dots or something, and I'm gonna use both. So this little star is from Party Animal. I'm coloring it in with a couple colors of, um, or an orange and a yellow marker, and then I'll die cut those with the coordinating Party Animals die. And I'm going to adhere these kind of going from the top left corner to the bottom right, a scattering of the stars, which I think really helps reinforce this congratulations theme. And then I will also create my own enamel dots with the Nouveau Jewel Drops in this same orange marmalade color. I'm using a quick stick tool and some Ranger Multi Matte Medium attaching the stars with the Ranger multi matte medium, and then the quick stick tool really helps me pick those up because they're just so teeny tiny. They are a little, I don't wanna get my fingers in the glue at all. 
I love those stars. I think they add a lot. And then I am simply just gonna create different sizes of drops. I love that the Nouveau Crystal Drops or Jewel Drops smooth out so fantastically as they dry. They smooth out and they really look like some fantastic enamel dots. And you can create them in any size you want. I will take this whole panel, attach it to a white top fold card base. I'm going to finish by adding detail to the eyes with a black glaze pin. That's gonna make the eyes pop on each of these cute little chicks. And then I will take glossy accents and add that to the beaks for all of my chicks to make their little beaks really pop. Thanks for joining me today for this congratulations card featuring the Mama Elephant Congrats All Around stamp set and the Congrats script die. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos showcasing Mama Elephant stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.